Hello guys, welcome to Jhook and in today's session we are going to discuss how to roll back and helm release. Well, the command for rollback is pretty simple, helm rollback followed by your release name and the rollback revision number which you want to use. But uh, before we uh, jump into the rollback command directly, first of all, we need to understand some concepts of helm chart and how the rollback and upgrade works. So for the today's session, what I'm going to take, I'm just going to create a hello world helm chart. First of all, that's going to be our fresh uh, helm chart. And we are going to install that Helm chart or we are going to create our first release version. OK, so once you create your first release version, then we are going to create a one more release version by increasing the replica count of that Hello World Helm chart. OK, so that we at least have two revisions of Helm chart running inside our Kubernetes cluster. And once you have a two revisions of Helm chart running inside your Kubernetes cluster, then we are going to perform a rollback command. And along with the lab session, I'm just going to put this guide into the description section of this video. Uh, this is actually a subtopic from my one of my blog posts, but uh, you can use this command and you need you just need to modify the release name over here and it should work as it is. OK, so let's head back to terminal. And first of all, I'm just going to create my first hello world helm chart and the command is helm create hello world. And you can verify by running the command ls and also by running command tree. And here you can see all the YMLs generated after running the helm create command. All right, so now we have our hello world helm chart there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, install my first helm chart with a revision one. OK, so the command is helm install hello, uh, the release name. You need to specify some release name. So I'm just going to use the name my release. OK, and followed by your actual hello world helm chart, the hel uh, the helm chart which you have created actually. OK, so this is how the install command should look like. I'm just going to hit enter. And if you see something similar message, that means your helm chart has been installed correctly. OK, and that you can verify by running the command helm list A. And here you can see the release name which we have assigned and the revision you should carefully look at the revision number that is one. OK, now I'm just going to increase the revision number uh, by uh, changing, making some changes into my Helm chart so that we at least have two revisions so that we can run the rollback command. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the replica count of my uh, Hello World Helm chart. Uh, as you can see currently, kubectl uh, get deployment. Uh, I'm running only one replica of my Hello World Helm chart. So to make a revision two of this uh, release or this Helm chart release, I'm just going to increase the replica count to two and just I'm going to apply those changes so that we at least have second revision uh, of my Helm chart running inside my Kubernetes cluster. And for that, what you need to do, uh, you need to go into the Hello World Helm chart directory and inside that directory, you will find values.yml. So I'm just going to edit uh, values.yml because there we are going to define the replica count or we are just going to update the replica count so here the replica count is one so i'm just gonna make it to two i'll just save and quit i'll clear the screen and now we need to upgrade our uh, helm chart so that we can have two replica count of my hello world helm chart running inside my kubernetes cluster so first of all check the directory uh, we are inside the hello world helm chart so just get outside of this directory and yeah you can check it again yeah now i'm outside of my hello world directory and the command which i'm gonna use is helm upgrade then my release followed by your hello world helm chart okay so i'm just gonna use the command upgrade first so that we can increase the revision number to two okay i'm just gonna hit enter and if you see similar message then that means our upgrade command has worked and I'll just clear the screen and I'm just going to verify whether our upgrade command has worked successfully or not. So the command is helm list A. And here you can see the revision is now two. So that means we have upgraded our help chart. All right. And also you can verify the uh, replica count actually. kubectl uh, get deployment. And here you can see previously we were running only one replica count. Now we are having two replica counts. 
Okay, so now we have a perfect scenario to perform a rollback on our Helm chart. Since we are having two revisions, so now we can roll back to revision number one. And to roll back, the command is Helm uh, followed by rollback keyword and then your release name. So here I have used my first Spring Boot, but here our release name is my release. So I'm just going to replace the name with this my release. And then you need to specify the revision number. So here uh, our previous revision was one because we just want to go back to my previous revision. That is one. So you need to uh, decide like which revision number you are right now. So it might be different for you in your case because you might have already have some previous revisions uh, which are running. So it in your case, it might be 10, 12 or 100. So you need to see on what revision you want to roll back. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna copy the command or I can write it down here, uh, roll back and the release name that is my release and the revision which I wanted to roll back that is one. I'm just gonna hit enter. So it will say rollback was success. So that means our rollback has completed. And now you can verify the rollback by running the command helm list a. And here, uh, the important concept is whether you are rollbacking your uh, Helm release, the revision will always increase. Now the revision has went to three. Okay, so th this is always an incremental uh, because uh, we are making the changes, but Helm chart always take each change as increment, whether it's a downgrading or upgrading, it doesn't matter. It, it will always increment the revision by number. Okay. But you can verify the replica count over here by running the command kubectl get deployment. And here you can see our replica count has went down to one. So that means uh, our previous, uh, our, our fresh installation of a Helm chart has been rolled back. And we are now on to the version where we were running only one replica count. So uh, this is how our Helm chart rollback works. And this is how you can roll back to your previous version. But yeah, you need to remember the revision on which revision number uh, you wanted to roll back actually. So here uh, I know the version was one and uh, where I was running the replica count one. So that's the revision I wanted. That's why I roll back with the revision one. But in your case, you should remember the revision on which revision you wanted to go back. So yeah, this was a small session on how to use a uh, Helm rollback commands and I hope you liked it. And if you are interested into the similar content, then you can follow me on uh, YouTube with the name Rahul Vag or Jayhook, where I keep on posting similar content on DevOps, Kubernetes, Helm chart, uh, Terraform and uh, on a weekly basis. And also you can find me on a web with the name jayhook.com where I prepare this kind of uh, guides, which I generally use into the my, into my lab sessions. And if you have any questions or issues, then please put down into the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. And if you have any suggestion or the topics which you want to discuss, then also put down into the comment section and I'll try to get back to you with uh, with some lab sessions maybe in some time. So till then, uh, see you into the next session. Bye bye. Take care.